Hey guys, this is Clyde here, live from the Leechburg Light Studio. Hey, I got a question from Jonathan this morning, and I thought I'd do a uh, video on uh, setting up DMX switches, D DMX dip switches, that is, for uh, use in your uh, display. For uh, 2015, I've added a significant number of dumb RGB items. And uh, what you see here, this is an Excel spreadsheet that I created a number of years ago, probably three years ago, when I first started planning back in 2013, early 2013. And right now it's the summer uh, going into fall. It's the end of August of uh, 2015. So I've been keeping up with this. Uh, and I'll, sh I'll walk you through this little spreadsheet and what I've done with each individual section here. Now, I I'm an Excel guru. I love playing with Excel. It's my favorite program, I swear. But what I've done here is I went and I added, uh, I made a, a model in each uh, for each one of my controllers so that I could organize it. And then from this screen here, as I add another controller in, I, I mark how many, how many outputs there are and uh, the number of channels that are actually inside that controller. Uh, and I mark them out so that I know. Uh, but I'll take you on a walk through these. But this first board is a 27 channel board one of the first I ordered from Ray and I have it set to run my upstairs windows my upstairs wreath and what I used to use two years and last year uh, uh, the peak star which was two channels the wreath was two channels and the windows were all uh, one channel of RGB uh, I, I included a node count because I thought it was important to know how many nodes was on each window frame on the wreath and on the peak star and that way whenever I was addressing concerns about how many nodes could be run uh, per per channel I created this spreadsheet to, uh, to help organize that as well uh, over here this is my channel settings and uh, and what this relates to is this is this is mapped as the first output which is output number one so we have channel number one two and three this is output number two so we have four five and six and so on output three seven eight and nine so what I did was I just created this uh, massive spreadsheet to help me organize um, all of my channel numbers so I know what my start channel number is the other reason I uh, uh, the other thing I, that is this is useful for and I'll come over here now uh, with uh, Lightarama whenever I was building my channel configuration in my Lightarama setup now um, uh, you will not see me in this video. I'm not going to go over how to add in RGB channels. In fact, I'll link over to uh, the video that shows you how to add this in and look for that in the description of this video below. I'll add the link into it so that you can uh, combine these two videos. There, uh, there's a lot of information uh, being put into both of these. So, uh, with this in mind, I want you to see that I've got for my first, second, the first through ninth, I have all of my. Um, all of my uh, channels set up exactly the same as I do in here. This is my master copy and then I work from this master copy into Lightarama to add in all my channels. I do the same thing with my DMX uh, Pixel, uh, the E131 network as well with my Pixel controllers. So uh, it just helps to keep it organized and um, with such a large display, large displays need a lot of organization and this is the best way i found to help me. Um, so with my mega wreath we'll say for example you can see it's output number six and if we scroll back over if we scroll back over here let's go over um, mega wreath number one we'll scroll over here it says channel 16 should be the start channel and as you see in the lightarama configuration if you click on that one it says channel 16 so I know that I've entered in all of these correctly in fact um, the new additions this year <clears throat> I have floodlights um, on the roof. I'll have four of them on the roof and then four of them on the ground. So if I look at my floodlight on the roof, the first one is channel number 226. If I scroll down here, 226, there's 226. This tells me uh, 24 channels of DMX floodlights. Each DMX floodlight is uh, its own floodlight. I'll show you those real quickly because I have a picture of one.
but uh, the floodlights are, are set up for their own channels. Here, 76 is the is the uh, number in LOR, but 26, 27, and 28 are the channels that they occupy. So I have to go in and set the dip switch calculator, uh, set the dip switch on that uh, particular controller to match this, and that's what this video is about. So what I'm going to do from here is uh, I'm going to show you how to set this switch, the dip switch to these channel numbers. Now you don't have to get elaborate as I did. It was helpful for me. But once I know where a controller starts and ends, I can very quickly uh, set those channels. And the only channel that you really need to know is the start channel. So the next thing I'm going to bring up is I'm going to bring up this wonderful thing called Google. Google helps you with everything if you ask it to. And what I'm going to put in here is DMX dip switch, and you've already seen I've done some searching for it. DMX dip switch calculator. And the first one that comes up is the Shabbat website. Now, I love this website for doing this. Uh, this is very nice. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this smaller. All we're going to do is we're going to select our start channel, 163. And I'm going to go ahead and enter that in right here, 163 and we're going to click show. Now if you look at this you notice that all of these switches that are in the down position those are for the on position and I'm going to bring up a picture of um, of one of my DMX boards. Now if you look at this picture uh, you can see that the on and this uh, poor picture obviously the on position is up and if you notice and in, in this one here the on position is down it's just irrelevant as long as you're turning the switches to the on position that's what's important I'll go ahead and demonstrate this on one of my controllers that I'm running right now okay guys so we are uh, going to put that address number 163 into this controller um, if I were going to do this, I just use a little flat tip screwdriver, a little hobby screwdriver. These are all in the down position, as you can tell. They're all in the down position where it's off. I want to turn them to uh, one, channel number 163. And to start at that, I need to, as you remember from the other screen, uh, I need the number one to be on, the number two. Uh -oh, number three jumped up there for some reason. There we go. Uh, four, five, and six can stay off, or uh, three, four, and five can stay off. Number six can be on, and number eight can be on. And as of right now, this uh, controller is set up and ready to go in the display. All right, guys. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Uh, it's, um, I appreciate you taking the time to have a have a look at it. I know it gets confusing this time of year. Uh, everybody's in setup mode and panic mode because they don't think they're going to get ready. But uh, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at leechburglights at gmail.com. You can also get in touch with me through the website www.leechburglights.com and also facebook.com forward slash leechburg lights all right guys have a good one let me know what you think of the video and uh, take care have a great one